Okay, here's the shirt I got to announce to Cheyenne. It says, and then there were five, and it has two hearts. So that's me and Cheyenne. That's Liberty Justice, and that's the new baby, Baby M. Super cute. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. All right. What's up, fertility babe? Let's get these babies, ladies. Grand Rising, it's beta day. I've never been so excited to get my blood drawn in my life. I did take first morning urine. I did not test it. We need quantitative, that's all I got. I mean, I'm gonna take it when I get back, don't get me wrong, but we need qualitative. We need a number. Um, I was laughing as I did my hair. When I started this journey, I had a TWA. Now I've got a full, brown, a full blown fro. <laughs> I'm mad. Do my curls bang love? Ooh, somebody defeated our building. Well, I don't know. Right? Or look at this. Can you see that? It looks like not paint though. Oh God. Anyway, it's 8.11. My appointment's at 8.15. I tried. I tried because I really want to get this done. Um, so what are we manifesting for today? Good beta numbers. Getting that call from Dr. McConnell. When you get the call from Katrina, you know it's not good news. And you got to hear the sad boy. I'm sorry. Listen, we don't want to hear none of that today, ma'am. Not today. Not today. Um, yeah, I'm hyped. I didn't get to do my yoga, but I'm going back home. My 9 o'clock in the office got canceled. So I'm going to work from home today. And... Oh my God. So I'll do yoga when I get back and some meditation. I'm just hype, hype, hype right now, but I do need to stretch. My shoulders are tight. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm going to talk you out of death. Let's, let's have some silence, some reverence. I want to say though, thank you to everybody who has prayed, who is praying, who thought about praying, who sent good vibes, good juju. I can feel it. It's lifting me up. Like for real, for real. I can feel it. I appreciate you. I see you. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the subway. Can you see my outfit? Kinda. I got on my boots today. St. Gerard, you were honored as the patron of fertility issues. By your intercession with God, I seek your help in this challenging and frustrating time. Help me to do the holy will of God and allow me to be fruitful in offspring. O oh, St. Gerard, I call upon you and seek your most needed help that I may conceive and raise children who will follow God in this life. Pray for me so that God blesses me with the most precious gift of life. And if needed, I ask you of a miracle, as you have helped so many in need. Bless me with a healthy child, I pray. Amen. Okay, the lady who drew my blood, it's her first day back from maternity leave. Um, I showed her, well, I showed her my phone of what I've been up to. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I was like, she said she had a son. I was like, oh my God, was it hard to leave him? She was like, yeah, he's with my mom now, which is nice. Okay, let's get back uptown. 
Okay, I'm over here digging out numbers so that I can update the little pegboard once I get my beta, but I can't find a one. <laughs> We're going to keep working on this, though. Um, I, I don't want to be a, like a crazy crafty person, but I think I need one of those little cases where each thing stays in its own because they give you this bag, but come on, I can't be dumping these out every time. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's almost like a tackle box looking thing where it has each little slot. But I'm like, how many times am I going to use it? But it doesn't really matter, right? Like each time I would be wasted. Anyway, I haven't taken the other test yet. I, um, oh shit, I got to jump on one meeting. I'll be back. All right. I finally made it to the bathroom. We're going to take this test. I have my FMU. And what I was going to say earlier, I, I may have taken a test or two. And I may have shown it to the phlebotomist. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, so this is a first response. It's the six days early. Um, let's see. Blank. And we're gonna dip it in our FMU. Oh my God, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh, good Lord. Okay, it's going across there. Hey, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. I'm not going to stand in here and yammer yammer because I've been very good about staying calm and staying focused and I don't want to like spark up my anxiety. So I'll be back as soon as the Google alarm goes off, okay? I just dipped this and I realized I wasn't recording. I was trying to do it in reverse, but we might have to do another one. What I said though is I may or may not have already taken one of these earlier. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn that. I was trying to do the camera in reverse, but this is already, it's not even five minutes. It's already came up positive. I just pulled it out. But we'll let it sit the five minutes and then we'll come back and do another one on camera because, oh my God. <laughs> it's the anxiety for me, it says. It's the anxiety. Um, I'll, Let's, yeah. <sighs> let me get another test. Let's do this right. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm ba -ba -ba back with another one. I'm so giddy right now. Okay, here we go. This is a first response. It is blank. Tanika needs to calm down. Here is our first morning urine that we collected before we went. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, three, four, five, six, five, six, five. All right. If you are wondering why I have a cup that says FMU, I ha I've been testing a few times. Okay, it is running across there. We are going to put it in here. Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. Second timer for five minutes and we're starting now. It says second timer because I already set a timer for this first one, but I didn't record it. I don't know what's going on with the girls, but let's just, that one is already and the timer has not gone off. So we're gonna wait for this other one so y'all can see a fresh one. Cause this, you know, it's that's the TTC goals is like, <laughs> okay, let me, let me get it together. And hopefully, because I'm recording on my phone, hopefully Dr. McConnell doesn't call in the next five minutes because, well, listen, let her call when she's gonna call. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, the first timer just went off. Since we know that one was already positive, let's just look at the second one because, you know, why not? Bada bing, yeah baby. We got a baby on board. We got a baby on board. Okay, let's just do. This is the one that's had the full five minutes now, so you can see it's darker. When the second timer goes off, I'm assuming this is gonna be darker. Not a dye stealer, but definitely not a squinter. 
yeah okay this is the one the timer went off i'm gonna come back when the timer goes off again just so we can see the darkness when it's fully developed but yeah girl i was pregnant i show sure is Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, thank you, Fertility Fam. Oh my God. I've told a couple of the TTC sisters. Now everybody's checking on me. I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know if I can handle it. Everybody wants to know first beta, second beta, which is good, but I'm like, I'm trying to stay calm and everybody's texting me. My phone's going ding, 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 and on my MacBook. So I'm just like, oh my God. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I am loved. I am supported. I accept it. And, um, it's interesting because I was talking to different TTC sisters over the weekend. People were worried about me, but they were giving me my peace. So I respect that. Like some people were like, she's afraid. Some people were like, is she gonna walk away? She shouldn't walk away. She still has five embryos or six at that time. So yeah, I, I, I had to go through it. And I think the main thing for me was like, I had to dig deep in my heart and be sure this is what I wanted. You know what I mean? You can't be having babies because of the internet. You can't just be like, or am I in a situation where I'm like, I just want to win because that's my personality type. You know, I'm a Taurus, I'm stubborn. I'm like, Ugh, get it. And so I could not go into it with that. I just had to be clear. This is what my heart still wants. And this is something that I can mentally handle if my heart doesn't get what it wants. So that was the thing, you know. Um, yeah. So for everybody who reached out, everybody who prayed, everybody who didn't reach out because you were respecting my need for space and emotional stability, I appreciate you. I really do. And one of the things somebody had sent me, because some of you guys, I don't have your number, like LaShonda and Laura. So we were in the email and some other people. But anyway, someone was like, you deserve it. And I was like, I think we all deserve it. I honestly do. I think we all deserve it. I think anybody who is hoping for a child um, to shepherd that soul through the world and wanting to raise a child deserves to have a child. There are, you know, there are so many cases. You guys know I like true crime where people are like killing their babies for no reason or abusing them. And so um, I just watched one where this 18 year old threw her baby in a stop in a dumpster in a bag. And luckily the bag that she put the child in, the band didn't work. Like she used a hair band, sorry. And the band broke, you know, like one of those little elastic ones. And so, and somebody was dumpster diving. The dumpster divers heard the baby crying and saved the baby. Um, I watched her interrogation. So it's like those things. So I do, I just want to say you also deserve it for those of you guys who are still in the wait. Everybody whose heart desires a child. You deserve it. We all deserve it. It's not just that I am deserving. So I just want to convey that. There's nothing special about me in respect to like more deserving or less deserving. I just want to say that. Okay. All right, let's look at this. There we go. So if you're wondering how I'm keeping them straight, the second one is on the left. The first one's on the right. Um, so we'll keep it in the hands that way. Right hand, left hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like the first one keeps getting darker. That's weird. It's the same sample, so they should be exactly the same. But all right, we'll wait for Dr. McConnell. I love you, ladies. For those of you guys, oh, I almost mixed them up. For those of you guys who've been rocking with me, I appreciate you. For those of you guys who are here for the P test, I appreciate you too. Let's get these betas. Somebody somewhere is in their two week wait watching this because trust me, I've watched a lot of these videos during my two week wait. So it's your time. Stay calm, stay, you know, focused. What is meant to be will be. May God's will be done. May you have your heart's desire. <sighs> Here's what I'm having for breakfast. It's oatmeal with blueberries and almond slices. I have the frozen and the fresh, well, I thought the frozen and I have fresh in here. So that's why you see like the different colors. Um, yeah, yummy. Okay, here's the shirt I got to um, announce to Cheyenne. It says, and then there were five and it has two hearts so that's me and Cheyenne that's Liberty Justice and that's the new baby baby M 
super cute. And here's the gift for my mom. I don't want to open it. I'll insert a thing from Amazon. It's a quail egg with a little note in there, but I don't want to mess up the bow. Trina, how are you? Yay! Wait. Um, yay. You're breaking up, but I heard positive. <laughs> you just email me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep them both the same. Okay, what was the number? Six hundred and seventy-two. Oh my god! Okay, I didn't hear that at first. Oh my god! Okay, I was hoping for just a hundred. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Wait, which level? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, sorry, we just have a bad connection. I'll read the email. Okay, sounds good. Okay, will do. Thank you, Katrina. <laughs> I already have started that and I take a thousand uh, micrograms of uh, methylfolate. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yay. Finally. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, my God. I barely heard any of that, as y'all know. But let's get to this email. What? 600. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Oh, my God. I was going to try to show you guys the email, but the technology is not cooperating. And I have a pregnancy packet attached. I'm, I'm going to print that out. Oh, I should print that out while we're doing this. Let me just... Oh, my God. I got to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <sighs> Okay, we'll get that printing and we'll go. So, hi, Tanika. I hope you're well. Following up on results from this morning. Congrats. It's a positive pregnancy test. Pregnancy hormone um, beta HCG is great at 672 and strong progesterone 2 of 32. Please continue taking estrogen tablets the same as well as the progesterone injections the same. Do not stop. Call pharmacy for refills if you need. You will be on until 10 weeks. Gestation. Gestation. Uh, we want to follow the levels and bring you back again for blood work on Wednesday, girl. I already made that appointment. We'll also check the TSH level at this visit. Follow instructions, blah, blah, blah. Our recommendations for pregnancy are to be on a daily prenatal with 800 micrograms to 1,000 micrograms of folic acid dosing per day. So I'm doing the supplemental, the folate. Although we know I don't have to have specifically folate, but listen, if the body metabolizes that faster, let's do it. Eat a well-balanced diet, knowing the typical pregnancy instructions, nothing raw, unpasteurized, alcohol, etc. We suggest keeping exercise low impact. We don't want you overexerting yourself or becoming hydrated. Oh my God, the printer is running. Why did I do that? <laughs> can you guys hear me? I hope you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, can you guys see me? Good Lord. You would think, you know, having made a video or two, I would get this together. Any medications you are taking over the counter or prescription you need to be mindful of the assigned pregnancy category. You can easily look that up online. Category A and B are generally safe and C is more risk versus benefit category. If more important, 
to you to be on it than stay. That's like my Zoloft. That's more important. We don't recommend D or below. Avoid Advil, ibuprofen, NSAIDs at this time. But you can safely take Tylenol and many allergy meds or cold meds that do not contain a decongestant. I can't have Advil, ibuprofen, or NSAIDs. Anyway, please read the pregnancy information packet attached to this email. That's what's making the noise. It will give you more information on what is safe and not safe and what to expect. Call back if you have any questions. Please call email back before 4. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we did it, y'all. We did it, we did it, we did it. Okay. I'm going on here to report a pregnancy and I couldn't remember the last donor's name. I've had two different ones, but look how much I've spent on freaking sperm. In 17, I spent a thousand, a thousand. We're gonna round that to a thousand. And then 18, a thousand, a thousand. 19 I had a known donor I did spend money on it for legal fees um so it was about 3,000 and then um this 985 um which was in storage and I stopped paying for the storage last year and then this is what we shipped to inseminate the donor eggs so let's just round it all to a thousand one two three four five, six, seven thousand dollars on sperm plus the three thousand for the known donor. So ten thousand. It's so crazy. This is so overwhelming right now, you guys. I just printed this out. Look at this. Look how thick that is. Can you see that? This is the early pregnancy guidelines. I gotta read this. I have oh wait, let me show you guys. I just made this. I sent this out to all the TTC sisters. My phone is blowing up. Everybody's excited. They're like, how many did you transfer? One, one. Progesterone is good. Everything is good. I'm excited. This is like a good, strong start. <sighs> Tomorrow I do the immunology testing. So that is the one that's in New York. So I'll do that in the afternoon. I'll just walk over from the office. And then Wednesday I go back for my second beta. Then Thursday I go to New Jersey for the whatever that immune testing is that the company is not licensed to do in New York. The repro source testing, that's what I was trying to think of. So lots of needles, but I'm okay with that. Listen, I've already been through a lot of needles. Um, these needles are on the upside. So these are pregnancy needles and not TTC needles. Wow, wow. I'm stunned. Like, even though I've tested and I knew it was going to come back positive, I'm, I never expected it to be 672. Um, Genesis was making fun of me because I was scared to take a digital, a clear blue digital, because clear blue is not an, the digital is not an early detector. You're supposed to take it the day after your missed period. And so you need at least 50. So I didn't want to waste one <laughs> if it wasn't at least 50. I was hoping. Oh my God, it's so crazy. I, I was like, maybe it'll be 100. Like, that would be goals. I wasn't sure yesterday if it was even 50, so I didn't want to waste tests. But, oh my God, 672. That baby is sticky. <sighs> Progesterone is good. Oh my God. I'm going to sign off, guys, because I just have to, like, I have so many emotions right now. I'm just, <clears throat> you can hear my voice. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm not, I don't know, I was raised Catholic. I'm not good at, like, just sharing all my emotions with people, so... I'm working on it as part of my closed throat, but I just need to be in my head or in my heart or in my thoughts or whatever. And I want to talk to Jesus. And so I'm going to sign off for the day. But thank you for all of you who have prayed for me. Thank you for y'all who've been rocking with me for the last five years. Thank you for those who are new. Um, if you are new, click subscribe because this, listen, you don't want to miss this. Sis. You do not want to miss this. My week, my videos are two weeks delayed, just so you know. So whatever two weeks from September 26th is, is when this will post. That was for my own sanity. I've had three miscarriages. I've just had a lot going on and that just, it gives me time to tell my family. So it's still news when you get it. It's just, you know, two weeks later. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. You guys. Thank you. I love you so much. Baby M is on board and oh, wow. All right, let me go. I love you. <sighs> Baby does to us all.